Hey guys, welcome back to the Cooper Cricket Workshop. Today we've got a couple of repairs that come in every day in the workshop and they're just basic back cleanups. First up, we've got the uh, Grey Nick Power Bow. It's in pretty good condition, but it's never had any love over its lifetime. So what we're gonna do is peel the stickers off, gonna do a little bit of reshaping. At the moment, the weight's not too bad, but they feel like the, the pickups are touch heavy. So we're gonna reshape the toe a little bit through the cleanup process. Uh, but this one will come out really nice. It's a really lovely grained bat. The next one we've got is this uh, Gabba. Same deal with this one. It's just uh, old and, and tired. It just needs a little bit of love as well. So we're just gonna peel all the stickers off this one, no reshaping, and uh, give it an oil, and it'll be good to go for this weekend. So let's get into it.
Okay, so there you have it. They're all cleaned up, ready to go. We did have some uh, minor little gluing to do on this butt here around the edges, but we did that easily enough. But they both come out really, really well. Um, have to point out on this one here that this tow guard, which is years and years old now, is probably the only tow guard in the whole wide world that has actually stayed on for any length of time. We've got pretty strong opinions about tow guards. We actually think they're rubbish. However, for this one, it stayed on. So kudos to whoever did that. But, uh, but all in all, these bats came up great. They're gonna go really well on the weekend and, and for an extended period of time now, any cricket bat will continue to perform if it's shown some love every now and again. You don't have to do it every week. You could do it every few months. Just give it a bit of oil, maybe a light sand, or bring it into us. It's a pretty quick and easy thing that we can uh, get sorted, So, um, but it's worth doing to keep the life of your bat going throughout the seasons. So I hope you like this video. Um, if you've got any comments, leave them in the sections below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.